Hey young married leaders, uh, this is our leader video for April. Sorry about last week, I still really have no idea how the uh, audio didn't work at all or how to fix it, so just going to shoot a new video. Well, we had our chosen conference today, it was really powerful, really awesome to see several of y'all here today and just reminds me of the power and the beauty of adoption and foster care and above that, just we talked about life groups last week, uh, the beauty that God adopted us in Christ, that he chose us, pursued us, loved us first. And so just remember that and remember to pray uh, for adopt adoption uh, families, foster care families in our church, in our ministry, for those uh, who have done that, for those who are doing that, and for those who will do that in the future. And maybe that's something God lays on your heart to do, but all of us can support and encourage foster care and adoption care ministries. Well, this Sunday is our all-in Sunday, April 14th. Uh, some of y'all are watching this beforehand, but a lot will probably watch this after as well. So uh, in follow up let's make sure as we perfectly have a lot of guests and we're following up really well calling texting uh trying to grab lunch or coffee with guests and hopefully helping them get connected with the co community of our life group so that's what's coming up this sunday we also are back in exodus for all of our teachers we'll be there for the next couple months uh the curriculum is uploaded the podcast is uploaded as well but uh, other future events in April, we have our next, before you say I do, April 26th and 27th, always a great outreach. Uh, often more than half the couples are not connected to Prestonwood and sometimes not connected to any church. So be praying for that. If you're interested in being a host couple, mentor couple, let me know, and I would love to connect you there as well. April 28th is our next next step. This is for all new members or those who are uh, strongly considering membership. Encourage them to be there Sunday, April 28th at 9 a.m. And then beyond, hopefully we're going to do uh, a few events this summer as a ministry. Uh, we did this last year and had a ton of fun and a ton of success. Hopefully just a blessing where we get to meet other young marrieds in different life groups and a great chance to invite people in. We're just trying to have a culture of always inviting, loving, sharing the gospel with other people. So let me know ideas you may have for us uh, to have some fun um, A1, Adult 1 ministry activities. We did pickleball. We did movie night. We may do uh, one or both those again or something new. Uh, this summer and into the fall. Also want to let you know uh, about the new amphitheater over by the pond. We're going to look at potentially uh, doing some prayer times out there as a ministry together. Just a beautiful area at Prestonwood. Well, wanted to encourage two verses uh, that have uh, been on my heart the last couple weeks. They're actually verses I shared about a week ago, but no audio. And so I want to share with them you share them with you again. And that is Luke chapter 4, verse 16. And it talks about how Jesus would often, as is his custom, uh, break off to be alone with his heavenly father. And this is throughout his earthly ministry, and it's convicting and challenging to me. Because I get it. Look, I mean, I think every single person in our ministry is busy. Pretty much everyone is probably at the crazy busy level. And yet Jesus, changing the world in three, three and a half years of ministry, always found time, prioritized time, to spend time alone with this Heavenly Father. We have to do the same, whatever that looks like. Even if that's just a minute, uh, even if that's, you know, playing our Bible app uh, as we drive, playing worship music. Uh, getting away for 30 seconds, whatever it looks like, prioritizing time alone with the Father. And then the other verse is in the Old Testament, Proverbs 29, verse 18 says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. And this is the call for each of us to have a vision in every area that we lead. So practically, in life groups, you lead in some capacity, have a vision for what you want your life group to look like. You want it to be a welcoming place, hopefully, uh, and a place of encouragement, a place where people are actually doing life together, not just for an hour Sunday morning. Well, you have to prayerfully have that vision and lead your class to that point, a place that welcomes in new guests, that invites people, a place where people pray for one another, uh, a place where if someone's hurting, that people will step up and pitch in to help that person as well, that they would carry one another's burdens. And the same is true for every area we lead, our family, our marriages, our children, 
uh, in our workplaces, community, you have to have a vision that you should pray about, have God give you a vision, and then lead as God leads you. So uh, those are two verses I want to share with you all. Again, this is what's coming up in April and beyond. Let me know any uh, social events that you want us to do as a ministry. Tomorrow's All In Sunday, or if you're watching this later, uh, it was in the past, but hopefully it's an amazing All In Sunday. Love you and grateful for you, and let me know if I can serve you in any way.